welcome to our June 2014 episode of Story4 TV, Monthly Internal Communications News. Well, what should you be looking out for in July? Our recommended upcoming event is being run by the Charter Institute of Public Relations in London. On the 10th of July from 6pm, they are holding one of their social shorts, an informal hour-long workshop about social media. Titled Digital and Large Organisations, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, this time the event is being hosted by Tim Lloyd, Head of Digital Communications, at the Department for Business, Innovation and Skills. This is a great way to stay on top of social media and digital trends, and you can buy tickets through Eventbrite. And next, the 4th of July is UK Employee Ownership Day, celebrating companies where employees own a significant stake in the company they work for. The Employee Ownership Association promotes the spread of employee ownership in the UK economy and represents its diverse members, including the John Lewis Partnership. You can follow the activity of the day on Twitter using hashtag EODay and hashtag Employee Ownership or on LinkedIn via the UK Employee Ownership Group. And now to look back at what you might have missed in June. Well, HR magazine surveyed over 400 of their readers about health and wellbeing in the workplace. They found that almost half of the respondents said they ran health and wellbeing initiatives. However, only 17% have a, had a comprehensive strategy in place that linked the health and wellbeing of the workforce to the success of the business. And most worryingly, 11% have no strategy in place and no plans to introduce one. And next, one of our favourite blogs from June is Navigating Internal Comms is Plain Sailing on Comms 2.0. Looking at lessons that can be learned from working as a lock keeper on a canal, the writer, Joe Smith, gives great advice about the challenge of connecting with remote workers. And finally, look out for SQL's summer 2014 issue of AQ Magazine. In this issue, we look at what we can learn from engaging volunteers, juggling clients, both internal and external relationships, and ask where in the world are the most engaged employees. And that's all from us this month. Please email us with any thoughts and thank you for watching.